Uh, do you have you heard about this? Have you have you heard about this? This, my friends, is the Polaroid Photoshop template. You can add your own photos or graphics or any type of um, picture you want into the Polaroid frame, and it's easy as pie. I'm gonna show you how. So after you've opened up your Polaroid template file uh, in Photoshop, and you've got a couple photos to put in as well, uh, immediately the instructions will come up for you and it'll tell you all about how to do this if you decide not to watch this video. Fine by me. Uh, so you can just hide those instructions if you're watching this. So the first thing to do now is to grab a photo and hit Control A to select it all and then hit Control C to copy it your Polaroid template. So then make sure that you have your first Polaroid selected and then Control V, Command V to paste, uh, Command T, Control T to transform and we're just going to adjust the size really roughly just to start and hit enter and then over in your layers palette you'll hit right click on your layer, on your image, and hit Create Clipping Mask. And this is going to tuck it in uh, behind your first Polaroid one, as long as you've pasted it above that layer. And then you can, uh, with the Move tool selected, with V selected, you can adjust its placement, or again, hit uh, Command T to arrange it, rotate it, enlarge it, whatever you need, and you're when you're happy. And then we'll go back over to another image and we'll do the same thing. Only this time, making sure to select Polaroid 2 so that you can paste your image right above Polaroid 2. And then same thing, adjust the size quickly just to start with. And then come over, right click, create a clipping mask. And then same thing. Actually, that looks pretty good just the way it is. And there you have it. You've got your images pasted into the Polaroid uh, pictures. And then if you look over here, you've also got a couple different options as far as a style and a feel go. You can make visible the vintage Polaroid feel group. And that will add a little bit of a style to your images. And you can open up that group and adjust anything if you want to take something away or add it in. I'm just turning on and off the visibility to check that out. And then likewise there's also a workflow action included in this. It's called Rosemary and if you are using your own action or your own style then you can always go ahead and hide that and that will take that style away so you'll just be left with a nice raw image. So I hope you enjoy this Polaroid Photoshop template and I hope you have fun with it. Happy editing. Needle, 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 needle.